The tortoise and the hare. Buster the steamroller loves the feeling of speed, the sun on his back and the wind on his rollers. Don't fall asleep, chuffed Thomas. I'm thinking, said Buster. But he wasn't. He was dreaming about what it would feel like to win a race. Thomas had brought Buster to the Soder Auto Racetrack, where his friends were working. They were going to finish the track today. It was a responsible job. The track had to be made safe. Buster flattened the track around the final bend. He was still dreaming about winning a race. And the winner is Buster, the fastest steamroller in the world. Vroom, vroom, Buster cried. You think you're fast? teased Monty. If you were going any slower, you'd be going backwards, teased Max. <laughs> but Buster paid no attention. He was having too much fun. Finally, the work was finished, and Miss Jenny came to inspect the site. You're a good crew, said Miss Jenny, but the track still needs testing. Can I test it, Miss Jenny? asked Buster. I'm the fastest steamroller in the world. More like the slowest, snickered Max. Monty snickered too. <laughs> Perhaps all three of you should test it, said Miss Jenny. The foreman will give you the all clear, but remember, no speeding. Of course not, said Monty. But Max and Monty knew they were going to go as fast as they could. <laughs> they waited for the foreman to give the all clear signal. I'm ready, cried Buster. You couldn't beat a snail, said Max. Not even a sleepy snail, added Monty. The foreman raised his flag. Max and Monty were speeding away. You jumped the signal, grumbled Monty. Did not, snapped Max. Buster trundled happily down the track as fast as his rollers would carry him, which wasn't very fast at all. Monty was so cross, he bumped Max. Ow, cried Max, you dented me. You're in the way, snapped Monty. Max was still cross with Monty. He decided to bump him back. Before they knew it, they skidded off the track and into a ditch. Mm, said the bull. Woo! said Monty and Max, and they struggled out of the ditch. They were speeding towards the finish. Monty and Max sped down the track, but Buster was trundling towards the finish. Go, Buster, cheered his friends. No, said Monty. It can't be, said Max. But it was too late. Buster chuffed and puffed across the finish line. When Max and Monty crossed the line, they were still arguing. I came second, cried Max. Third, snapped Monty. You won, Buster, said Jack. And I wasn't even speeding, he said. When Thomas came to collect Buster, he was pleased. I brought a steamroller, he said, but I'm taking a champion back. And he helped prove the track is safe without speeding, added Miss Jenny. Buster was proud. Vroom, vroom, he said as Thomas chuffed past Monty and Max. I did come second, said Max. Third, snapped Monty. 